Hi and welcome back to this video series covering the primitives inside Unreal uh, Engine. So in this video we're going to cover the sphere prim primitive. So I already have it here in my search. I'm going to drag it into my level. Uh, and as expected this just gives us uh, a 3D sphere inside our level. Um, but what I'm going to write, go ahead and do is change the radius so we can actually enlarge the size of our mesh here. So let's make it nice and big. So that's 200. Um, so the next property that we have is the segments. Uh, let's set this to something uh, very low, like for example five. And you can give, you see, this gives us our, this really sort of roughed out uh, sphere inside our level. Um, what I want to go ahead and do though is add a material so I actually can see this in more detail. I'm just going to grab my uh, example material here and put it on the uh, on the primitive. Uh, and let's start playing with the segments again. So if I bring this bit down even more to two, we get the sort of like coned uh, rectangular uh, sphere. And I bring it up to three, four, and let's set it to something uh, much nicer. So let's set even 20, gives us this really smooth uh, primitive shape. Okay, so let's talk about the next two properties. This is the uh, pi one and two. This will change where uh, the opening angle of our sphere. So if I'm going to set this, for example, to 90, you might think nothing's happened. But if I just rotate my cube, you can now see that we have uh, this 90 degree sort of opening inside our sphere. So I can bring this up a bit. Let's say 95. You can see, you know, what? I'm just going to drag my mouse up slightly. Oh, that went a bit too much. Let's bring this back to, say, 180. That will give us this sort of semi-sphere. And if we wanted to start from the other end, we can change the pi 2. So this is the ending uh, point. So if we bring this down to 240, for example, you can now see the other side of our uh, sphere there is uh, changing its uh, size. So I'm just going to set this back to 360 and the other one back to 90. So we have sort of this... Uh, shape there okay so the next two properties is that one and uh, two so this is actually going to change the top and the bottom of our sphere so it's right now set to minus 90 if i set this minus uh, 45 and again let's just rotate our shape over there and you can see that we're now getting this indent in our sphere from the bottom and if we do the same from the top we get this indent at the top i can change the shape there so using these properties, you can create some really cool shapes uh, and meshes inside Unreal without, uh, in real time without having to go to an external application uh, and then build it there and then export and bring it in. It just really speeds up your uh, workflow from within Unreal. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. And in the next one, we're going to be watching the uh, showing the primitive tube tube video. Should be sure to watch that one. Thanks.